Hey guys, welcome back to another uh, G Tech Fan Game tutorial. Today, I'll be showing you how to get a uh, or make a UI mod menu, as most of you requested. So yeah, first thing you're gonna do, make sure you have an XR Interaction Manager somewhere. Doesn't matter where. I have it in my grill rig. So yeah, and then go to the controller that you don't want to have the mod menu in. So for example, my left hand controller has my mod menu. My right one doesn't. So whichever one you don't want the mod menu in, go to that controller. If you have finger colliders, right click on your finger collider and then create an empty, call it Ray, Cat, Ray Interactor. If you don't, just put it on your right hand controller. That's fine. And then go to XR Ray Interactor. Uh, Interaction Manager, you're just going to put your Interaction Manager there. Then add a line renderer with 0 0.05 width or a really skinny line. And make sure you copy these settings for the XR Interactor line visual. Uh, you should be able to know how to make a gradient. It's not too hard. Make sure it's on Blend Classic. Uh, yeah, it's super. It's pretty easy. So make sure you copy these settings. And then copy these for a sorting group. So you can add a sorting group. Alright, cool. That's literally it for the right-hand controller. Like when you need to click buttons on your mod menu. Now go to your left hand. Right click UI panel and on your canvas make it world space and then add a tracked device graphic raycaster. <clears throat> You're gonna size this panel down and we're gonna move it over. I'm gonna just copy the position of this one. And there we go. And it didn't matter because it just resized it. Okay. That's fine. I'm going to just move this. What the heck am I doing? Uh, I need to size this down. Woo. Here it is. It's almost here. There we go. Alright, now that we got this thing here. Size it down a lot. And I'd recommend making it skinny for that mod menu look. You know? Alright, cool. So, throw it in front of your player. Make sure you can see it. Just go to your game tab. I'm going to put it in front of my player just to show you what it would look like. Uh, you can change the position wherever you want to go, obviously. <clears throat> Alright, so on your panel, I'd recommend going to the image and adding a cool material. So my blue, it's got a cool, nice see-through material here. Uh, it makes it look really cool. So, yeah, you can do that. Uh, and then go here, uh, right-click, copy, component, or no, copy uh, position, sorry. And then right click on your canvas, UI, you're going to add a button. And then what you're going to do, right click on the React face position. And then you're going to just scale it down. Just keep going. Boom, and now you got a button without moving everything. So what I do for my mod menus is I right click on here, create an empty. And let's say, let's do the ghost mod, you know what I'm saying? Ghost mod. And then we're going to throw the buttons in here. We're going to make two of them. Uh, yeah. So this one's going to be... You're going to type ghost on. And then this one's going to be... Ghost off. Off. There we go. So now you got the two buttons. On your buttons, both of them. Uh, normal color white. Highlighted. Do green. And then... Selected color, do red. Uh, I just realized it's not going to matter, but, uh, oh, change this to red as well. This, the selected color doesn't matter. So, yeah, do that uh, for both buttons. Then, um, yeah, so go to your one of your buttons, just copy the text, and then drag it to your canvas. And then just drag it up here, name it mod menu, or whatever, type in mod menu. Uh, you can make it bigger, you can do whatever you want. Boom. There you go. So, 
for your buttons, for your ghost mod. Uh, what the heck? There we go. I don't know why I did that. So, for your uh, buttons here for mods, what you're going to want to do, go down here. For your button one, the one that's going to turn it on. For the first game object, uh, just grab the ghost script or whatever. And we'll just do ghosts. Uh, I don't remember what I called it. Oh, it's right here. It's this object. So, my ghost it has the script on it. And you're going to throw it in here. It's going to be on a game object, by the way. So, create an empty ghost. And then just put the ghost. Or what's it called? Freeze mod. Or whatever. Real time VR manager, or whatever. Turn it off. And then go to your button. Throw this in here. Right? Game object, set active bool, and then turn this on. That will turn the mod on. Then you're going to need two more. Like, runtime things. Throw this button, your first button right here, the one that's going to turn the ghost on. Game object, set active, turn off. And then for this button, you're going to drag in right here. Game object, set active, turn on. Okay. Right? Cool. Now for this one, you're going to turn this button off. You're going to do on click. You're going to need three of them, remember. Put your ghost in here. Game object, set active, and it's going to be off because you want it to be disabled when you hit this button. And then you're going to do the same thing for this button. So you're going to put your this button one right here. Game object, set active, will turn off. And then back here, you're going to throw the final button, the one that turns the ghost on. Game object, set active, and turn it on. Just like that. And boom. That's literally how you add mods to your UI mod menu. It's super simple. Um, I'll do a cosmetic one real quick, uh, just to show you. Uh, I don't have a good cosmetic script, it's kind of weird. Uh, but, yeah. So we'll do that real quick. So that's your ghost, right? So, let's, uh, so what you're gonna do now, oh shit. What you're gonna do now, you're gonna right click, create an empty, name it, uh, let's just do, like, let's just say mod cosmetic, or whatever. Say that's a cosmetic. Uh, throw it here, just move it up a little bit. You're gonna copy these buttons right here, and throw them in here. Or you're gonna drag them in here. And then you're just gonna move it down a little bit. And then you're just gonna rename the text. You can just do mod, or you can do mod on. Or like mod cosmetic because it's abbreviation for mod cosmetic mod off right and then we just turn this one on because it's my enable button this is my off button and now it's the same thing so these are already in here so as you can see when you click this button now it disables its own self this you just have to change now so this uh i forgot how to do this okay so Go on here, create an empty, uh, just name it mod, and then change cosmetic. Uh, is it this? Yeah. Let's just say it's a head cosmetic, whatever your cosmetic's name is. And don't turn this on if it's going to disable. So for here, you're going to do this, uh, change cosmetic, or not, game object, set active, true. Right? I don't know. I don't even know what I'm doing. Uh, yeah, I think so. Who knows? Yeah. Yeah, game object set active true, and then you're going to make another mod, except this one disables it. So you're going to turn this one off. And then... Yeah, this sets active true, and then you're going to set this here, the mod one that disables it, game object set active false... Do the opposite for here, so you're going to take your this one, game object, set active, turn off, and then this one will turn on, and boom, that's how you do cosmetics. That's what I get. Uh, that's how you do UI mod menu tutorial. Uh, I can make a package with just buttons on it for you uh, that are set up and everything ready to go. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. See you on the next one.